Welcome to Algebra, the mathematics of the unknown. Let's start with the basics. Hopefully you know what an equation is. It's a mathematical sentence that says, this thing on the left is exactly the same as this thing on the right. We use algebra when we have an unknown. When we don't know what a thing is, we decide to call it x for the time being. We do some maths, and then we find out what x is. When we have more than one unknown, our unknowns become variables. Say we have two unknowns. The first we call x, and the second we call y. They might appear in an equation like this, y equals 2x. Instead of there being just one answer for one unknown, we now have a whole range of possible answers. Put simply, the value of y varies depending on the value of x. Because of this, we call y the dependent variable, and x the independent variable. This type of equation with two or more variables is called a function. You can think of it as a machine. We get to choose a value for x. Usually we can choose any value. We put it into the function machine, which does this other special stuff to the x, changing it in the way the function describes. And the function machine spits out a special value for y. When we choose a number for x, we simply replace all the x's in the function with that number. Here's the key thing about functions. For each value of x, there can only be one value of y. The things that we can do to these equations are called operations. There are six basic operations we can use in algebra. Brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. The order of the operations is important for later on. For now, remember the order as bed mass. Brackets show the order in which we rearrange and solve an equation by grouping things together. When we do something to stuff in brackets, we do it to everything in those brackets. This allows us to do something called factorizing, a way of simplifying an equation, which we'll talk about later. Exponents are sometimes called powers, and have an opposite called a root x squared is the same as x times x. The little 2 just says that two x's are being multiplied together. We call the little 2 the square. The opposite of x squared is the square root. These seem a little confusing at first, but we'll go over them in detail later. Hopefully you know division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Here's a couple of tricks though. When we divide by a number, say x divided by 2, this is exactly the same as multiplying x by what we call the reciprocal of 2, which is when we flip a number. The number 2 is always secretly a fraction, 2 over 1, which of course is just 2. This goes for any number of course. So dividing by the secret version of 2, 2 over 1, is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, 1 over 2, which is just 2 over 1 flipped around. You won't believe how handy this little bit of knowledge is. As far as addition and subtraction go, the trickiest thing is to watch out for signs. 1 minus negative 1 is the same as 1 plus 1, right? And 1 plus negative 1 is the same as 1 minus 1, right? Here's the trick. If the signs are the same, so plus positive or minus negative, the overall sign is positive. If the signs are different, so plus negative or minus positive, the overall sign is negative. Similarly, with multiplication, a negative times a negative is positive because they have the same sign, but negative times a positive is negative because they're different signs. The same goes with division. The key to all of this is practice, practice, practice. Maths is a language like any other. The more you speak it, the more fluent you'll become. 